Booga freaking Booga, it's me, Ep Dreamer here. And today we're gonna be playing some Super Paper Mario. Cuz, I accidentally deleted my save file for 251, so I have to think of some way to fix that. Yeah, let's jump right into it. I already made a file so I can just start without having to type anything, cuz conveniency. Pretty sure that's a word. Too bad we can't skip the intro cutscene, cuz you could probably find this all over of YouTube. Now you could be asking, hey, Dreamer, why out of all the Paper Mario games would you choose this one? And it's a simple answer. This is my favorite one, and you can't change that fact. Wow, this sure is, sure is a peaceful day today, eh, bro? Hmm, maybe I should do voices, but then again, consistency is not very good with me. It makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Yep, real peaceful. It's so peaceful, it's almost a little bit boring. Ah, uh, look at those paintings in the back. It's almost like they're paying homage to something. It makes you just want something kablooey, you know? Some sort of shocking event. Oh, Princess Peach's place, maybe? That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit the Mushroom Castle. What if you guys would think if I actually did voices? Would you like it or no? How about you drop a comment down and say yes or no, most likely no. Also, I just realized Mario's cup is more pink than red. I mean, Luigi's cup is understandably green, but Mario's is more like a hot pink. Well, anyway, it's been a while. I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Oh, the door's clipping. Mario, help. Too bad I can't scream that. People are sleeping right now. The turn time of time of I don't have a clock in here right now. My last one broke. What happened? Why are you so crazy? It's shocking! Mushroom Castle raided! Princess Peach stolen! Toad's always had a, sort of a chibi face, hasn't he? Even without the whole, you know, paperized version. What? Why, that's ridiculous! Who in the world would do such a thing? Yeah, I really wonder. Maybe it's like a... I can't think of any obscure Mario characters. Uh, maybe it's the guy who will never get led to smash Waluigi. Wait a second. Yeah, I think I've got it. Bro, this must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into his castle and res rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. Also, I, another reason why I like this better than TTYD is because I played it more as a kid. So, by that logic, it, I obviously liked it better in some form or fashion. At least I think that makes sense. Well, what's that up there? The heck? I mean, he said not me. <laughs> Listen up, my elite minion task force. Yeah? It's time to initiate my awesome plan to invade the Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. I do like my mannerisms, so they sound at least half decent. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stomp on our little mustachio buddies. Hmm, reuse sound effect from TTYD. And if you don't know what that means, it's a fan given name to Thousand Year Door Paper Mario Edition. And I definitely didn't just kind of make that up in that moment, but yeah! It's our turn! Run your attack! Run your attack! Rudeness! Run your attack! Ah. Whoa! Woo! Yeah, we're under attack. Your jokes are the best. It was at this moment he knew. He hacked up. Hey, who are those hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions. It's actually just, uh... Bowser with the mustache. Wait, Mario and Luigi? I'm not gonna try to say Blarg. Cause you can't make me. How'd you get in here? What? My front gate was open? Oh, <laughs> I just not noticed he says, oh no. I've never heard that before. Cause I'm always, whenever I do this, play this game, I always voice the characters. I love reading. And yes, I'm a bit of a nerd. 
How many times have I told those idiots if you're the last in, lock the gate? Wow, people not shutting the door because they're, they're lazy? What a... What a real life. Quiet, you big Bowser. We know you kidnapped Princess Peach. Now where'd you put her? Dang, if I had a face cam, I'd be having the time of my life. Where'd I? Wait, what? We're only about to launch our attack. Mario, help! And yes, that will be my Princess Peach voice. You cannot stop me. Princess Peach? And look at the two frame paratroopers, Goombas, and... Wait, the, the normal Koopas and the normal Hammer Bros are just... They're smoother than the flying guys and the normal Koombas. What? Consistency? <laughs> Your princess has been taken by Count Black. Who also has a part-time job at Sesame Street counting numbers. You. Wait, by who? I'm pressing the wrong button. Oops. By me, Count Black. The chosen executor of the dark... I'm just gonna say prophecy. Is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesized to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you who doesn't make a little bit of sense. Count Black. Enough. Release Princess Peach right now. I'm on schedule over here. Count Black says never. This princess is... inherited to the fulfilling of the prophecy. She will be brought back to the castle Black and used to destroy all worlds by Count Black. Take a shot every time he says Count Black. You will die. Destroy all worlds? Wow, Mario tried. Let's give him a hand. I didn't say hands. I clapped once. You get it? Joke. Funny. Haha. -ha. Mario, no, he's gonna die! Big bro! This man to serve is ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. You calm down and free the princess or else. Wow, they just slid closer. <laughs> the princess shall not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas. Why does that sound weird? Count Black will take you too. I will turn your shell into a nice, marketable backpack. <laughs> so yeah, I've been wanting... Actually, wait, I'll tell you after this glorified cut movie cutscene. <laughs> Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear, as foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> And yes, I imagine him talking like that where he can't pronounce real words, and I'm definitely not doing it out of me accidentally stepping over my letters. You can't prove anything. Dang, he should have, like, I don't know, killed Mario, so, like, no matter what he did, he wouldn't be able to save him. Alright, guys, I'm gonna say every dot, okay? Dot, 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 dot. Mario? Who the heck is Mario? Mario? What the? Biggest reveal of... Well, I think it said it came out in 2007. What a year to be alive. I certainly was. Are you awakening? My name is Tippy. I am what's known as a pixie. A sort of fairy. I'm pretty sure you say Tippy. And if I'm wrong, please don't tell me. It hurts my feelings. You know, I'm, I'm really curious now. How many times have I said, don't correct me or else it'll hurt my feelings? Because I know I said it multiple times. Mario, I came to find you. Hmm, I love these crusty images. Brings back good times of Tendo Wii. I am no enemy. You met Count Black and he captured a princess and an evil king. Well, don't you know the names? Is this not so? Yeah. Wait, Mario can only say yeah? But other than that, he's mute? Great game design. That means Count Black is now beginning to form the void. What is this, Black Mirror? I mean, I've never watched it before, so I'm, I'm making a huge jump here. I shouldn't say I've never watched it. I watched it once. Back whenever it first came out. The first episode, and that's it. And I remember nothing. You must come with me. Yes. If your friends are to be saved, you must come. Don't take that out of context. 
Nothing weird was said. Let us go. Dang, they just got dragged out of existence by a mouse. That was actually my mouse, guys. I'm actually doing this. Isn't that crazy? I've never understood that fact. Like, what what mouse curse was that? What what is that from? Oh ho! Well, 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 well. Back so soon, Tippy. And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, a magnificent stash. Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. This must. This matches description of the hero in the light prophecies perfectly. His name is Mario. Me? I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of your dimension. Wow, this is the Mario. This is the. This is the MCU. The Mario. Wait, MCU. Yeah, Mario Connected Universe. Of course! Our oh, fair Flipside is no dimension at all. It's between dimensions. Sparkle effect. My name? Merlin. I am a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts to forestall the end of all worlds. Oh, you want to know about the end of all worlds? What's happening, you ask? So Tippy has not told you yet, I gather. Well, actually, it's what happens when you do not save and delete your entire save file. Like I did with this game. A little story while that's happening. I'd 100% complete this game, right? And I wanted to play it for my channel, you know, because why not? And, uh, I was just gonna have that save and keep it, but, uh, while trying to get my Xbox controller to connect to Wii things, it said it wouldn't connect, right? And I couldn't find my Wii controller, you know, where I looked. So I was just like, okay, I'll just uninstall Dolphin to fix it, right? And it did work, because, you know, I'm playing it right now. But, uh... I deleted my 100% save file, and now I have no proof because I never recorded anything, never took a picture of it, and I'm now very sad, but uh, you see that gathering darkness in the sky? Let's just ignore the fact that I just deleted a very hard save file that I could have kept forever. This holds a very dimensional fabric in space, such a strange pheromone. Phenomenon. Doo -doo -doo. Is it near or far? None no. It may appear small now, but it'll only grow. Is that right? And in the end, it will swallow all existence, all worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Blick, who wields the dark. I'm really starting to consider if I shouldn't call it prophecies. I'll be right back. Prognosticus is what I gathered and I'm trying to pronounce correctly. Because why not? A, lo a fair and lovely princess and a ferocious monster king. Yeah, you shouldn't call him a monster, he's a turtle. The union of these two call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of worlds. And the Chaos Heart will bring ravage the sky and bring forth the void. Who was this, Lord of the Rings or something? I haven't watched Lord of the Rings since I was two years old. Yes, the passage Tippy just quoted is from the Light Prognosticist. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right because I just spent five minutes trying to learn it. From my ancestors. Effort goes into these, you know. The book will all the book also says the void will swallow all. So is he getting the big Mac? Not can stop it unless the one who protected by the dark power is destroyed. So I can't click. The hero of the power of eight pure hearts will rise to this task. So it is reason written. I pronounce prognosticist, but I can't say written. Society, am I right? Alright, uh, just one of eight pure hearts. You are surely the hero spoken in these passages of light prognosis. God. Big words hurt, don't they? <clears throat> you are the only one who can defeat Count Blick and save all worlds. Don't tell me if that's getting annoying. Annoying! Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Yeah. Darn it, I was clicked on the wrong button. What? How can you refuse? If you do not accept this, all worlds will end. You must. You don't wanna. After all, I told you, you still refuse? 
your very last soap. Wait, what have I said? Your hope. Very last hope. This is the final time I'll ask you. Please, save the world. Fine. Already. Excellent. You're truly a hero. Book of legend. My eyes never deceive. I'm, I'm, I'm basically just being like, eh, fine. So, <laughs> how, how quite can I say that without you guys not hearing? <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Mario, a brave hero. Take this. I had to shake her. It wasn't genuine. Isn't it funny how this video is most likely just going to be mostly story? I mean, yeah, this Paper Mario game, in my opinion, has one of the best stories in all Paper Mario. But my opinion should be taken with a grain of salt. Because we all have opinions, you know? Your opinion matters. My opinion matters. Whoever sit next to you, because I know someone probably is, has their own opinion, and it also matters. People all matter. No matter where you're from or what you do, you matter most likely. Unless you're a terrorist, then please stop. But yeah. Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillow in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to when you finish this task. This way. When the up thing appears, press the direction up, you idiot, dingus, moron, numbskull. Now, it wants me to go up here, but then again. we Success. This is the heart pillow. Now, get close and place the pure heart. I've always liked jumping down more than I have going down the elevators. Because not only does it... I shouldn't say skip, but... Like, push off the whole... Oh, hey, you gotta save, or else... Your entire save will be gone, you know? Because that's how saving works. Probably. But yeah, it just pushes it away. And also, look at this! I can move my camera! It's actually 3D! Oh, shoot. I gotta... Probably fix that. Aw, oh, 3D effect went away. That's something I kind of figured out whenever I was playing it personally, is that whenever it's in 2D mode, the only thing that moves is the text box and display up there. Whenever it's in, like, cool 3D flip mode, then everything moves because, you know, 3D. Now let's return to moving. Yeah. It's like right now, the only thing that'll move is the score, coin, and HP. Which, I'm really curious why this game has a score. As far as I know, it does absolutely nothing. Which, I mean, score has always just been, like, a remnant from the arcade days. You know, like, Mario, the original Mario Bros, which, that's old, and Donkey Kong, and the other Mario game that was also arcade. I'll save once I get somewhere, like, later. What the heck? What the heck? I'm sure lag going in that one elevator won't make you guys too angry, right? And if it does, then I guess I can just turn up everything until my computer explodes. But then there's no lag. I know where we are. You don't have to tell me you're in the flip side tower. Look, a door has appeared. Where? I don't see it. This dimensional door, quote unquote, was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Oh, fudge. I need to go back and... Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven pure hearts. Other. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here, right here, in this exact spot, this exact centimeter, this exact pixel, this exact item. And if you don't, I'll eradicate you or something. Of course! And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. Eight? No, it's a pipe! Get a return pipe, a magical pipe that returns you f oh, to flip side from afar. Jafar. Jafar. Aladdin? <laughs> no. With this, you'll be able to return to the flip side from anywhere in the universe. Don't you mean the multiverse? Because we're going to different universes, so it would be multiverse, wouldn't it? But what do I know? I'm just... A teenager sitting in my... Not my bedroom, but some other... Different room where I have my computer. So obviously, I know something, right? Well, let's get going, shall we? I agree. Well, uh... Um... Wee! 
Sorry about that. I got uh, excited. Let's get into the story. This isn't the this is story, not gameplay. Blick. <laughs> the voice has been ripped. Wait. I gotta sneeze. Give me a second. Sorry, guys. I had to sneeze, and I don't want people to hear my sneeze because. It'll, you know, peek the remote microphone. The void has been ripped in the dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. No one say that. All has gone foretold in the dark for anaphysis. Is that gonna be a running gag that I can't pronounce that word? Who cares? It's just a matter of time until all worlds meet the demise. Black. Now, wow, that's super, Count. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds. Don't say that! Wow, that's not- or that doesn't sound like Ochungus. Ochungan's Irish, probably. And then we're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that icky stuff. Yeah, we must kill everybody in all known existence to make a world without ickiness. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Yes, yes, no one like the other icky stuff, yes. A perfect world sounds magical. What are you? Javel from Deltarune? Undertale Sand? I can hardly stand the weight. Sorry, I'm right. Oh, can I do an Irish accent? When the blazing bog rats? No, that's more. Uh, I shouldn't say Australian, because. I mean, what kind of accent is it? But how'd I beat myself here? What's going on? And no, I'm not gonna do it anymore. It was good while it lasted, but no. Me, 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 me. I don't know, it's like spider, I guess. Oh, Chunks, you big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kinda hard to be on time, though, when you got muscles instead of brains. Eh. <laughs> you can't fool me with that. Crazy shape shifting hooliganery, it's Mimi, isn't it? Show a little respect for the Count, you can't go borrowing his face, lass. That's close enough. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost dapper as Count Blick. Not enough people say dapper anymore. Wait, what does dapper mean? Oh, thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Oh, no. Y you kind of look... You kind of look like, not smile, you look more like paper. Hanging out with the Count is my ideal of a perfect world. Wow, you have a crush? And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Hey! Wait, yeah, Dementio, right? Wait, Dime? I'm just gonna call him Dimentio, and you can't stop me. Dimentio, have you been reading my diary? I mean, uh, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. I think the only consistent voice is probably gonna be Count Black. After all these rotten worlds have ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. Sorry, I was just listening to Thunder. But. For that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the dark Ranovicus. Yes, about that. Just an FYI, an urgent memo for your inbox. What, wow, this email in 2007? Internet Explorer? What the f- Apparently there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah. I miss Internet Explorer. It was bad and slow and Windows 7 was amazing and Windows 8 sucked. I was thinking it was the Hero Prophecy. We're going to need an action for the planet, this guy. Hmm, great. A dimensional interloper? And possibly the hero? Are you sure of this? Nastica? How the heck did I go from bleh to a British accent? Interesting, we mustn't count black. We muse, it's muse, not mustn't. We must put an end to this nuisance. This is why I like playing game more than I like reading. You know, reading is one of my favorite pastimes. Kept Blick. Blick. Let me go right into it, me brain. This hero Nasta going on about is her enemy? Then you gotta go cut me loose. 
I mean, yeah, got him. I'll give him a nice old ch taste of old chunks. Chunks. Very well, old chunks. I'll leave you to the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Blick. Or else you'll get your iPad 4 taken away. You can count on me, Count Blick. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm, I swear it. No, don't say cuss words. Ah. Mimi, Dementio, you should turn along. You could win this a proper junkin'. Yeah, I guess that's close enough. Bye bye. Hmm, I do like a good chunkin'. I actually misclicked, so I kind of uh, accidentally added. And then I'll believe I'll hit it as well. I accidentally pressed the Xbox button, which made all these tabs come out, which was pretty nice to see, other than I could press anything. <laughs> So, hero would defy Count Beck, then hurry, for your world ends draw near. Blech, blech. You know, with all this reading, my my uh, speech sounds very scattered, doesn't it? Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Well, it's not just the world, it's the multiverse. It's every universe gone. You understand that, right? It's like whenever Thanos went like snippity snappity, die. Could he prevent Count Black's pulling off his sinister plot? I wouldn't say it's sinister, I'd say it's downright evil. Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. Funny how I can say interdimensional, but not... The other word, I now can't... Mark Noffice's mic? I forgot, no, no! Okay, shut up. Shut up. Let me get to gameplay, it's been... 26 minutes of reading! And yes, I love reading. That's too long. Yeah, good world building, I gotta say. Good job, Nintendo. I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Merlin told us to find his friend. Best offer is to learn that dimensional technique. We better go find him. Yeah. One more thing, if you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. Simply point your Wii remote to the, at the screen, and Tippy will focus on where you point. In my case, since I'm using an Xbox controller, it's easier than that. I don't even have to point my controller at the screen. I just have to press down a button, and look at that. Basically uncontrollable. Where the heck? Oh, I was about to click on Tippy, but you know, she turns into the cursor. Oh, and yeah, it takes like three or four seconds for it to go away. Oh, and yeah, instead of being able to shake my controller, I have it mapped because, you know, for some reason, I can't... Sh I shouldn't say for some reason, but, uh... Xbox controls, whenever you shake them, they don't really have a gyro sensor, so, uh... It doesn't do much with that information. I'll save in a minute. I don't need to save right now. It's not like the game's gonna freaking implode, right? You know, if this was one of those, like, poorly written comedian shows, it would just literally explode, killing me in the process. This is not an empty house. There's something here. I can feel it. Whoa, is that a door? Okay, the way this is working is that it's a joystick, right? It's very sensitive. And I really wish I found my Wii remote, because I have an actual Wii sensor bar. The little, little price of twenty dollars I paid for that. It's a great purchase. I actually don't regret it for once. Unlike my fifteen headphone stands I got, music is nice. Hmm. 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 Huh? What? The, what? What? Hmm? Hmm? What? What is this mega mustache that stands before me here? And how does it have the? Audacity to my dress of the multicolored glory. How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Your mustache is made out of cloud. Wait right there, red shirt, conspicuous white gloves, jaunty cap. Ha! Huh. You must you must have grabbed the rich clothing from a hero of prophecy. You must be the great hero. Impersonator. What a 
costume. You look like you leaped out of the pages of the prognosis. You know, of all the things Mario's ever said, him saying no, no right there is actually one of the cutest things ever. I mean, look at his little face. It looks like paper. Oh, wait. Uh, he, this is Mario. He's dressed in his clothes because he is his clothes. I'm better at telling stories than they are. Marilyn told us to find you. Marilyn? Only his full body beard reveals my hairy magnificence. If Merlin thinks you are the true hero, then you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Festophysis, will bestow you upon the ancient secrets of the dimensional flipping. For a normal fee of, wait, Norman? nominal fee of 10,000 coins. But that's preposterous. You can't charge to teach the hero prophecy. Why not? Even the great and Maleficent's best of all the gibberish can certainly charge a lot, yeah. Oh, fuck. Why should the hero. Gosh, I need to sneeze. I'm just gonna blow my nose. Major update, blowing my nose did not help with me sneezing. All it did was make my nose clearer. Why should the hero get the world delivered to him on a well-garnished platter? These heroes think that they can get away with snaking people down for their free skills. I mean, 10,000 coins should be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? No. I see. So be it. I will sell for just taking all the coins in your pocket. Do we have a deal? I think I have like seven or something. You still refuse? So be it. Though it makes me ill, I will wave at the normal fee and teach you for free. Do you agree to this? Yes. Yes, I do. In fact, I do. It's me, my scandalous. Let's begin. Ow. Flimity flamity flu, diggity daggity do, zimity zabity. <gasps> School zoom! Shaboom! Didn't Luigi say he wanted to see that earlier? Plot twist? Um, 3 a.m. Uh, among Us? Gone wrong? Gone bankrupt? People die? Flip pow. Ooh. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. I can't move the camera because it's 2D. I bestowed you the great ability to flip between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. What if we could flip between 3D and 4D as well, hmm? What would that even look like? Well, what do you think? Mind-blowing, isn't it? I guess 4D, I mean, 2D is like 2D is a plane, right? X and Y. 3D is X, Y, Z, right? Yes, I say Z. You can't stop me. So 4D would be X, Y, and Z. Wait, what comes after Z? What is this AI speak of? I assure you that we are being watched from another dimension. Oh no. Those beings will understand, but you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Actually, what the button I used to flip between dimensions actually map to Y. Get it right, dingus. Just remember that you can use the, abil the, the, the ability to find hidden items and secret paths. But beware, use your ability for too long and you lose HP. Oh, fudge, I spit all over my computer monitor. Oh, I thought I had something to say after that. You've done it. You mastered the basic ability of pressing a button. Good job. You flipping idiot. Mm, nice shell. Nice can. Actually, no, I'm really curious. Is there a wall over here? There is. You would you would never see that in normal gameplay, right? Cause, here, one second. Let me look. Yeah, you can't see it. Also, he has different hats. That's kind of nice. I shouldn't say cute, but it was a nice touch. 
good to know that your magical wizard man has different wardrobes. Well, real quick, I'm just going to uh, grab this before I miss. But, uh, mm, Pixel Pals. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, flat is better than being flatter, flat, flatty, fun, what?